Hello guys. So we are back with a very interesting problem. The problem revolves on the fact that suppose you have gone to a party, a picnic say, and you are planning with your friends or your peers to play a snake and ladder game. And you have lost the die. What will you do? You obviously have a penny. You have obviously have a penny in your pocket. A coin. Let's assume it's unbiased, okay? And you know probability well. So the question therefore comes that can you make a die, a virtual die out of a coin? Question revolves around the fact that can you make a coin behave like a die by tossing it multiple times? So that's the question that we are going to address today. And you believe me, you need nothing more than basic probability and conditional probability. Okay, so let's get started. So suppose you have this unbiased coin and you want to have a die which gives you one with probability one by six, two with probability one by six, three with probability one by six, four with probability one by six, five with probability one by six, and six with probability one by six. That means you're sort of looking for an unbiased die, a good looking die. And you have a coin which gives you heads with probability half and it gives you tails with probability half. Now you want to produce this, right? So that means you want to have at least in the sample space, you must have at least six outcomes, right? So what we will do is that we will produce at least six outcomes using heads and tails. How can we do that? By tossing multiple number of times, right? So to need at least six, we need three tosses. So let's do three tosses, right? So out of these three tosses, how many? What, is, what are the outcomes possible? Let's count it. H, first choice, the first choice, there are two options, H and T. For second choice, there are two options, H and T. And the third choice, there are two options, H and T. So in total, there are eight options, right? So it's more than six. Good. So let's write it down first. It's H, H and T, H, H and H, H, H and T, H. You fix the H first and write the T, uh, the other part. So T and H and then H, T, T. Another, another four is that you T the T first. Just like you have given, uh, kept the H first, you keep the T first and even algorithm to how to construct this. And you give similar H, 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 T, a similar portion like here, TH and TT. Okay, so these are eight possible outcomes. Now let's do something. You need only six possible outcomes, right? So let's do this beautiful coin tossing experiment. So you toss three times. If you get this to last part, just reject them and again toss again. Okay, reject this. And if you get this HHH, -H, you get one. You name it one. If you get HHT, you get two, and similarly for three, four, five, and six. So what is the experiment? The experiment is this. You get a toss, you toss a coin, okay? And if you get, there are two options. If you get, let's see, TTH, TTH, and TTT, you reject it, and you go back to this first step again. And if you get something else, you name it F H H H. You name it one. If it's H H T, it's two. And if you get H T H, three. If you get H T T, you get four. And the rest of the two parts H T H H and T H T, T H H and T H T. For this, you get five and six respectively. So this is the coin tossing experiment. Now my question is, and your question should be, that why, why, why on the earth does this give this probability? Each probability is one by six. And that's where the beautiful conditional probability idea comes. Okay, why one by six? So here is a simple argument. Let's call this set of outcomes to be A. Okay, now 
probability so and let's call the new outcomes that you are getting every single talks to be s x okay so it's a new outcome because you are not you will not be getting this outcome once you get this you are going back to the first experiment so you never got to never got to get this outcome and total number of outcomes is this so you want to see what is probability x is equal to say h h h or any of these let's say it's same as observe it's same as probability now observe it's same as probability once you get this that means in this restricted experiment it's a restricted experiment right it's x is equal to h h h rather not x but the actual outcome here the actual outcome here y it's y what you are getting in the actual outcome y equal to h h h or rather the toss you can name it t let's name it t it makes much more nomenclature sense so if you go do that t t is equal to h h h given that t is belonging to this a otherwise it will reject it will be rejected and will be going back to the toss again right so it means that probability t is equal to h h h comma t belongs to a by probability t belongs to a which means that probability t is equal to h h h by probability t belongs to a that means this is one and this is six right it's one by eight and it's six by eight so therefore it's one by six so we did got the desired die right beautiful very good you got the die now now natural question is that's for your food for thought that can you use this method to generate an event can you simulate an event with probability a rational number let's say m by n let's take for example so you will do this as a homework as an exercise but let's take an example of say 3 by 5 okay so just the next power of 2 after 5 so select the next power of 2 after 5 after you select that is 8 over here that means 2 to the power 3 that means you generate those h h all those terms okay that i have told h h h h t h h h t h t t t h h t h t t h t h t and t t t now what you want you want something like so you have to select therefore try to select try to uh, like make two events so that 3 by 8 and 5 by 8 are formed and 3 by 8 is sort of within the subset of the 5 by 8 subset the subset is probably 3 by 8 within the subset of 5 by 3 subset so let's do this thing so let's select these ones very simple very simple this three and the big box the actual five let's consist of this thing so what is the algorithm let's try to write the algorithm okay so this is the idea if you reject if you get tth so these are rejections tht and ttt okay and you accept if you get this okay h h t now this is sort of conditioning we are sort of doing conditioning okay we are sort of doing the same conditioning so once you accept this therefore the give like given probability is 5 by 8 now you want to select those of 3 by 8 so select those so therefore you select you count it once if it's h h h so it's like select h h h h t t h t h and h h t so observe you can understand if this is x and uh, let's uh, let's not call this x let's call this b and this is a set you can you can prove it that probability the outcome x belongs to b given x belongs to a 
is actually the actual docs x is actually 3 by 8. Sorry, 3 by 5. Rather, it's 3 by 8 by 5 by 8. And to generate the actual idea of m by n, it's your idea. Okay, see you in the next video. Stay tuned and stay blessed. Bye bye.